In Hollywood, the government guys are usually only spying on the bad guys and not some average Joe surfing the web. And you hear that all the time from people, oh, if I'm not doing anything interesting, they're not gonna spy on me. But real life is a little bit different and anybody can be spied on, even you, no matter what you're doing. And guess what? It's entirely legal for that to happen if you're located in one of the 14 eyes countries that we talk about in another video. Still, things are not all bad. There is no reason why you should turn off all your electronic devices and move to some remote island somewhere. VPN technologies and tools can help you protect your data privacy, but they are dangerous to use in some cases. And there may be cases where even with those, they can be traceable. So without delay, let's jump into a few simple steps that you can take to preserve your privacy online, even in a world of strong surveillance and dangerous VPNs. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, we discuss how entrepreneurs and other freedom lovers just like you can build cancel culture proof businesses, create a bigger impact in their business and the world and completely break free from this system. While billions of people can use the internet to access up-to-date news around the world, in several countries, it's been severely censored and restricted. Communication can be monitored and millions are under surveillance and living in fear. Recently, one woman was just jailed for 34 years just for using Twitter the wrong way in Saudi Arabia. The mistake that we make is to think that this type of totalitarian censorship only takes places in countries like China and Russia and so on and would never happen over here in the West. Because remember, as part of the Five Eyes Alliance, it is the US, Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand who can keep the closest eyes on their citizens and do. Edward Snowden once said, arguing that you don't care about your right to privacy because you have nothing to hide is no different than saying you don't care about free speech because you have nothing to say. So in other words, it doesn't matter if you're not breaking the law, you still should have the right to privacy. And that's why we have VPNs. And a VPN is a crucial tool for increased security online and most cybersecurity experts recommend that you and everyone else installs one and uses one as often as possible. It uses encryption to mask the real IP address of the user and the person who's using it. And the data that's sent and received from any website is routed through an intermediary. And in this case, it's routed through the VPN or the virtual private networks server. The user can then access things like restricted content that might be illegal in their country or content that certain providers don't provide to certain countries, for example, like Netflix shows, those types of things. You can now access that content because it looks like that you are located in another country entirely. So therefore someone who's in Sri Lanka could use Facebook or another block platform without restrictions by going through this VPN to make it look like they're actually in the US. And they can also help to protect sensitive data because it stops your identity from being revealed. But they're are problems with them and they can fail. They're not totally foolproof. VPNs and proxies are used to hide IP addresses and reroute and scramble data, but certain countries are known to outlaw them. And we talk in another video about how the US might be outlawing them soon. If the VPN is based in an alliance country, one of the five eyes alliance countries, there's still a chance the security can be compromised even if you're using one of the VPNs if it's based in one of those countries. And VPN providers that are based in 14 I countries can be legally required to hand over your internet activity if it's requested by the surveillance team. So in that case, you might be wondering, well, what's the use then if they can be compromised? So are VPNs still useful for freedom of speech? Can you still use a virtual private network for this freedom of speech? Well, yes, you can. But the first thing you have to be sure of is make sure that your VPN, the provider that you're using, is not based in one of the Alliance countries. And in addition to the VPN that you're using, be aware that the sites that you're visiting and the amount of personal data that you're sharing should always be kept clean. You have to be very careful. If a site looks spammy or fishy, then it's best to find out what you're looking for from a more reputable source. There's a lot of garbage websites out there that will not only infect your computer with malware, can also be sharing that data and stealing that data so that they can spy on you. So it's really important when you're using the internet to know the country of origin of any tools you use, any sites you visit, and know whether they come from one of those five or those nine or those 14 eyes countries to know whether it's possible they're handing over that data. Because many of the programs that are touted as protection come from places where that surveillance is actually happening. So like I said, if you use a US based VPN, chances are they could be forced to share that data with the US government or with another country within those alliances. So it's crucial for your VPN's potency 
that it's located outside one of those 14 eyes countries. If you want to make sure that you have a VPN that can't be forced to share your data, find out where that software is made and choose the VPN from a country that's outside of those alliances because that ensures you that that encrypted data actually stays private, provided those, those companies actually do care about privacy. You also need to make sure that the VPN doesn't keep logs of your internet activities because those logs could be compromised and their servers could even be breached. One example of a VPN that we recommend is ProtonVPN. And it's based in Switzerland, so therefore it's outside of the prying eyes of the 14 eyes countries. NordVPN has a home base in Panama and it contains extra features such as a kill switch if your VPN connection suddenly stops, which is something you have to watch out for. If you're, so if you're using a VPN and for some reason that VPN server goes down, most VPNs are gonna switch you back to your, your normal unprotected internet and you may not even know that it's going on. So by having that kill switch of NordVPN, you'll lose the internet, but your, your activities aren't going to be compromised. Bravado VPN is another VPN that's based in Switzerland and it has 24 seven customer support. So it's another great choice and they have a no log policy. So even if for some reason their servers are breached, they're not actually logging any data on you to be able to get. Another one that's really user friendly is CyberGhost and it's based in Romania and they have a no log policy as well. And it's been challenged by governments over the years, but it's been consistently proven to protect its users data when those things happen and when the, the government actually goes after it. So they, they're a strong advocate for that privacy. And VPNs are just one of the tools that your business needs to use in its fight for freedom of speech and for staying cancel proof. So you want to subscribe to Renegade News right now where we exist solely to help you build a bigger impact, grow your audience and make more income in this increasingly complex business and this social environment. And also check out the video that you see on the screen right now for more information on the five, nine and the 14 eyes alliances that we just talked about and stay tuned for a new video that's coming out next week about countries that have the most internet privacy. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News and I'll see you over there.